Question number eight, yes. Julie Ann Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Why did he say that prisons are a, quote, moral and fiscal failure? Mr. The Speaker. Honourable Paula Bennett, on behalf of the Prime Minister. Half of the Prime Minister, because that is my view. Supplementary? Supplementary question, Julie and Jen. Given that view, will his government implement the proposal released yesterday by the New Zealand Drug Foundation, including the recommendations of the 2011 Law Commission report controlling and regulating drugs, so we can stop incarcerating people for minor drug offences? Oh, Mr Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because it's simply not true that our jails are overflowing with drug offenders. Um, the vast majority of people in prison for drug offences are manufacturers or distributors. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Given that we spent $268 million in 2014 15 on enforcing our drug laws and only $78 million, a tiny fraction of that, on drug addiction related health interventions, does he agree there's an opportunity to help people with their addictions rather than locking them up? Mr. The, Speaker. The um, Honourable Paula Bennett on well, behalf Mr. of the Speaker, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, there's two parts to that. So the first part is actually most of that money is being spent on clan, um, clan labs and those that are actually manufacturing and distributing um, things like pee. So that's what that money is being spent on. But on the educational side, I am for that. I think that we can do um, more in the educational side of making sure that New Zealanders know the effects of addiction and how we can actually help them get off it. Point of order. Point of order, Julie and Gender. I seek leave to table data that I received from the New Zealand Drug Foundation that shows more money is spent for cannabis-related offences than P. Leave us sought to table that information. Is there any objection to it being tabled? There is not. It can be tabled. Supplementary question, Julie Ann Gento. Will he take an evidence-based approach to regulating the personal use of cannabis as experts at the Drug Foundation Symposium have been urging here in Parliament all this week? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, my beliefs are that I don't believe in liberalisation of cannabis. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie and Genta. Given the evidence is all there, that it will save us money, it will help people, it will reduce harm, and the New Zealand public supports it, why won't this government listen to the evidence and finally modernise our drug laws? Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Paula Bennett on behalf of the Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, because there is a mix of evidence and we're quite clear on where we stand on it. Question number nine, Phil Twyford. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is for the Minister.